Steven Spielberg, Oliver Stone, Harrison Ford, Michael J. Fox, Peter Jackson, Wanker, Bruce Willis, Sigourney Weaver, the NYPD Blue, Quentin Tarantino, there's so many. Wes Craven, David Cronenberg, A-Team, Knight Rider, Starsky and Hutch, Sesame Street, Apocalypse Now, Die Hard, Shawshank Redemption, Lethal Weapon, The Little Mermaid. How did I meet Mr K? Uh, actually, it's a very uh, interesting story. Uh, I was working on an amateur dramatic production of uh, Puss in Boots being done by the Bognor Regis players. And uh, I, I had for that production a number of sound effects discs sent to me uh, for the production, it's quite ambitious. And one of the discs was uh, Mechanical Sounds number four. Now, on many of the there were many contributors to make the sound effects on this disc, but um, Knut, Mr K, was one of the key contributors. And uh, I was a particular fan of the track uh, Gears Grinding 7, a wonderful variety of high and low grinding sounds. Uh, and I was such a fan that I decided to send a number of letters to Mr K uh, in the year 1993 uh, through to 1998. Uh, and eventually he, he responded to my letters and invited me into the studio. Uh, unfortunately, the technician at the time was suffering from a rather vicious bout of conjunctivitis and uh, I was invited to take the desk. And, uh, well, I, I've been here ever since, really. Uh, so I started out doing animal noises. I grew up on a farm in the Midwest and, um, and just, uh, just picked up on the, on the noises around me, though. like all the animals that you find on a farm, like, like there's cows that go and then there's, there's chickens that go like and, uh, and, and then there's my favorite, uh, the pig, which uh, I always keep with me in the studio. Knut was born deaf. At the age of 12, he underwent groundbreaking surgery, an inner ear drum transplant with his pet pig, Peter. And, uh, and he was my favourite pig, and, and I liked him because of this black bit on top of his head. It kind of looked like a toupee. So, um, so, yeah, so that's why we called him Peter. So this is the studio where it all happens, and I, I stand in the room there, the booth, and speak into the microphone that you can see through the window, and that records my sound, my voice. Here we got Peter, I introduced you earlier, but I always keep him in the studio with us, so keep remind me. So, and this is, this is where Jeff does his magic. We have the monitor here, which I have in the other room as well, and I can see the video here, and I do my sounds to this video, and then this is all the equipment that Jeff uses to, to record my voice. And the, this here we have the desk. Now this is a desk and this is a desk, but don't get confused because they're both desks, but this is an ordinary desk and this is a sound desk. Uh, they do very different things. This one doesn't do sound. No, it does have the keyboard. Yes, it has the keyboard on it, yeah. And it's an ordinary keyboard that you can get with any computer. It doesn't do anything else. So the sound desk, it's got here at the bottom these these uh, these sliders faders the s faders that go up and down and that's what makes my voice get louder as it goes up and when it goes down the opposite of loud quieter the, along here we have some orange lights when when you press the orange light it goes off and when you press it again it goes on again so you know when the orange light is off or on and off and it's on again. It selects the channel. Uh, that was you. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Then here we have a knob, and that turns. This does a circular motion, and and it goes around. And that this one's gain, which is is more of something. Yeah, the turning is the same principle as a fader. Uh, it's just a knob instead of a instead of a. a, a I'll, I'll do the mic. And here, here we have Only important the screen. Oh, Mess around here. Well, he's not the only one can have friends. I've got friends as well. The screen and, here. And they like me a lot. And I don't.
Yeah, so when I'm not in the studio, I like to pro scooter. I wear all the protective gear. I've got my helmet, my gloves, my knee pads, my elbow pads. It's a very dangerous moving object. You never know what's going to happen on one of these. So you've got to be safe, children. Um, the orcs we did a lot of, there's a lot of speaking orcs. And they wanted a very, like, salt of the earth, um, you know, common sounding orcs. So they went with London, of course, you know. Um, and they're, they're very cockney and gruff and kind of walk around like this. And, you know, they're looking through the forest and, and like, let, let's find some hobbits and, uh, and shit and stuff like that. And, um, and then, they, they, you know, they, they, they're, they're kind of saying, I smell man flesh. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> Where? I don't know, but let's find it. Jeff, Canute's lonely assistant, panders to his every need. And I usually get through about a bottle a day. His morning exercises, his daily Come routines, on, and his job Come on. as a foley artist. Come on! Yeah. Go on, grab me! Yes! Oh. Oh. That was three, Mr. K. Much more than before. So sometimes I like to entertain the local children by making revving noises on my scooter. And in my job, I have to do a lot of traveling. For example, for films like The Lion King, I have to travel to study those animals. So for The Lion King, we went to Africa to, to look at the lions and, and the kings. And while in Africa, well, they don't have any electricity. So I couldn't use my electric toothbrush. So I always have a spare um, non-electric toothbrush that I can use in countries like Africa and China and they, they really wanted to make the animal, the dinosaurs, really realistic. And uh, it was a really hard job for us to do, research-wise, because there's no zoos with dinosaurs in anymore. And, um, and they didn't have recording equipment in those days, so, so we, we kind of had to make it up. Hi, Marty. Yeah, yeah, how are you? Oh, uh, good, man. Yeah, how's Peapod going? Yeah, good, good stuff. So when, when's, the, when's the plane coming to pick me up? What? What do you? No, I don't. I don't understand. Oh, I've got a fucking documentary career here. I've told them. I, I told them I'm doing it. Don't be a fucking asshole! Oh, you fucker! While on the phone with Martin Scorsese, Canute managed to wrestle down a deal to become Leonardo DiCaprio's footsteps. In the new film Shutter Island. What about Vegas? Yeah? The three hookers? There, there, Mr. K. There, there. That one's a walking bang factory. Very impressive. 